Hello everyone, I have journeyed from the south to the far northeast to uh, try a mermaid beer. Uh, this one's a bad example of the label though. It's rip. But it's Coney Island Brewing Company's Mermaid Pilsner and she looks very beautiful. And do you have a bottle opener on you? Or is it, it might be a twist cap. I can do magic. Yeah. Can watch this? I really feel like I should move the camera to watch this. If I had room. Alright, we should start over. No, oh, no, this this is in there. This is in there, no! I could have done it. Oh. Be a little space. I'm gonna drink the broken label. Nope, it is not. Um so uh already disappointed with the mermaid beer. Not being a twist cap, but yeah. By the time I get a key change of already. Yeah. Well, fine then. <laughs> you got them both. I did. But you spilled. That's all right. All okay. right. So, they'll probably be, hopefully be edited. Oh, that was real head. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So, I tried a um, mermaid beer from California last time. I did one of these. And this is from Coney Island, which I'm assuming... New York's Coney Island, so... It would be New York. That would be from one coast to another. Let's try it. Um, cheers. I'm fine. That's not it's bad. A, it's not bad. When did you say good? It it's definitely not bad. It tastes pretty like, like a beer. Yeah, it's just like, like we, on a scale of yes. like... It has a mild spiciness, which is balanced by a light... Fruity floral hop aroma. Yeah. Yeah, I'm reading the, the label. Uh oh, yeah, okay. I, I should have read it that too. Yeah. <laughs> a heavy handed edition of rye malt adds a mild spice. Uh, yep. So, did you only read this side then? Yeah, it's one person right. me. Mermaid Pilsner is a light bodied crisp drinking, nicely hopped lager though, with a heavy handed edition of all that stuff she said. Yeah. So does it taste like what you expect a, what do we call that, light blue haired mermaid? No, she looks kind of angry, so I would definitely think it would be more alcoholic. Yeah, I mean, like a stronger she is a very taste. tatted up mermaid. Yeah. Not that that makes you angrier or anything, but she has a bit of edge to her. And I don't know if you would count the, the amount of edge she has to the amount of edge this has. Which is pretty soft. It's and pretty soft. Gently sloping like a bottle. <laughs> it is a very drinkable beer. Now, I'm not a huge beer guy. Um, typically just nursing on a Bud Light all night. But I could see myself drinking a lot of these without much problem. And I guess in a way that makes a pretty good beer. Mm -hmm. um, and it only costs like, how much did it cost? It like, like 12 10 Like 10 bucks. Like I spent, two, <laughs> I spent almost $200 to buy a beer that costs... Ten dollars. It's kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Mermaid Pilsner. And they, they ha do have some Coney Island products in where I live in the Texas area. And, um, but they only have like the hard root beers and stuff. Which and, I am a big, big fan <laughs> of, actually. And they have them here where yes. I am. And... It's just interesting because I'm like, oh, I can get it now, and then I'm like, wait, where's the where's the one that I know of? Is <laughs> yeah. It was a little bit of a drive to get. Yeah, to. Little, it's little out of bit. season. Yeah. But. It's like it is February, late late February now. So yeah. And but yeah, I, I think I think I'm gonna keep this one because this, unlike the uh, Coronado that I had, this one actually has a nicer label. So, probably going to keep this bottle. So, but yeah, that is all I can really say about the Mermaid Pilsner from Coney Island Brewing Company. I think we covered pretty much everything. Yep, I give it a B, so, yeah. B plus. B plus, yeah. I'll, I'll agree to that. Cheers. Cheers.